I'm Anil Kumar and on request of my students, here is another example to understand how to factor radical expressions. So we have two examples here. First one I've taken as two terms, then we have three terms. So you can call it binomial. I'm not calling it binomial since it is not a polynomial, correct? We have radical roots. So strictly speaking, I should not be calling it binomial. Now how to factor it? This is what you want to understand. First step is look for the lowest power, 5 over 2 and half, which is lower, half is lower. So factor out x to the power of half, that is the strategy, so x to the power of half you factor. Once you factor x to the power of half, you have to divide this term by x to the power of half. Dividing means taking away the exponents, right, so we'll have 5 to the power of x to the power of 5 over 2 minus half minus, we have already factored this, so we get 1 here. Now, what is 5 over 2 minus half? 5 minus 1 is 4, so we get 4 over 2 minus 1. So I'm breaking up these steps so that uh, things are absolutely clear this time. So that is x squared minus 1. You get the idea, right? I skipped that step in the last example. Now I hope it is clear. So it is x to the power of half, and this is difference of squares, right? So I could factor this as x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now my given expression is fully factored. So I could write this as x to the power of half times x plus 1 times x minus 1. So that is how we can factor the given expression, right? Okay, so here is another example to practice. Some of you can pause the video, practice doing the second example, and then look into my solution. Now in this case, x to the power of minus half is the lowest power of x. So we'll factor that out. So we'll write this as x to the power of minus half, and within brackets, we get x to the power of 3 over 2, minus minus becomes plus, you get the idea, right? Minus of minus. Now the second term will be 2, x to the power of half, minus minus makes it plus, minus. We have already factored out this, so we have 1 here, right? So that is what you get. Now, x to the power of minus half, and 3 plus 1 is 4, so let me write 4 over 2, plus 2 times half plus half, let me write 2 over 2, then I'll do the next step, right, kind of like this. And then we have x to the power of minus half, and the bracket, we get x squared plus 2x minus 1. You get the idea. Now that is a trinomial, which we know how to factor. Product is minus 1, and sum is plus 2. So product of minus 1 and sum is minus uh, minus 2. So that means minus 1 and plus 1. Well, that doesn't work, right? So I'll kind of change the question. I think there's a typing error. So I'll just make it plus. Okay. So I made it plus so that I could factor. The idea is to understand how to work with the radicals, right? There could be a typing error. So I just made it plus. Now we're looking for 1 plus 1 is 2 and 1 times 1 is 1. So I hope you don't mind that. So we can write this as x plus 1 times x plus 1, bracket close, and that becomes x to the power of minus half times x plus 1 whole square, right? So that is how you can actually factor the expressions with radicals, right? So radicals are when the powers are like 1 over 2, 1 over these are the radicals, right? In general, we say radical could be written as uh, n over, let's say, p, right? So that is equal to m to the power of n over p, correct? So that is how the radicals are written. So I hope that makes it clear. If still there are some doubts, let me know. Thank you and all the best.